All right, uh, I'm going to talk very briefly when I say look around the room and I see that I don't recognize a whole lot of faces unless I met you sometime during this meeting. There's a few of you old timers that I do know and uh, so I thought what I'd start with, whoops, does it work? Well, that's the button. Which one do I advance it with? Oh, the big one. Ah, there we go. I thought I'd give you a little information about me. I basically am only going to be up here for a few minutes because number one, I only have one message to get across to you. And number two, I'm probably going to start a coughing fit and won't be able to continue. So in any case, just a little bit about me and my background and where I'm coming from and why I'm going to be doing what the ABAMP board has asked me to do. I spent 39 years at Louisiana DOT, uh, all in research, the first 17 years doing asphalt research, and then the last 22 years or so doing uh, administ research administration and management. Uh, if you stick around long enough, you get to run, run the place, and for the last 10 years, I was the director of LTRC. I also was the uh, AASHTO uh, Research Advisory Committee chair and the vice chair of the Standing Committee on Research. Those are the people who put together the NCHRP program and do a lot of the research that you all have been hearing about for the last day or so. Uh, in 1978, we built our first wrap pavement in Louisiana. That was a 50% replacement wrap. We also put some truckloads out at 60% and one truckload out at 70%. That pavement performed for 14, 15 years before it was milled in overlay. We had a lot of early experience with polymer modified materials starting in 1982 with our first chip seal. In 84, we put it in open graded friction cores. In 1986, we put it in our first dense graded asphalt concrete pavement. By 1991, we had specifications that included polymer in all of our asphalt and all of our emulsions. Uh, so, so we were able to move that process through pretty fast. Uh, I was also part of a joint task force from ARTPA, AGC, and AASHTO, Task Force 31, and there were a few other people in the room, Mike was one of those members, uh, where we uh, eventually developed a set of uh, specifications for modified asphalts that eventually became ASTM standards. Uh, we did our first GTR projects in 1992 to 94 and established a set of specifications uh, which we, uh, with the PG grading system, we made called the 8222, and that essentially was our GTR binder mixes. So those are a number of the projects that, that I did uh, uh, in, early on in my career, and, uh, and that's why I'm at this meeting, probably because you all handle these types of projects and, and are involved with them. Um, but as good as I may have been as a researcher, I can't get these things put into practice by myself. That takes more work. Yesterday you heard from the change leadership people. It's a change management process to take my research and, and put it into practice, take that research report and put it into practice out in the field and get convince my people, DOT people, that they should be using it and to convince the contractors that they should be using it. That first wrap project, contractors did not want to put wrap in their mixes. They thought it was going to ruin the quality of the product. Within two years, we did four more projects, and then within three years, we had hundreds of projects where we were putting wrap. Once they tried it, they liked it, they started using it. So it's a change management process, and you've got to work with people.
Why you could, couldn't hear me? This thing hanging down there. Anyway, thank you. 